Hey guys, welcome to another episode of VTech Academy. You're about to get schooled. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm here at Cartoon in San Diego. I'm with Dennis Taco from Max Boost. We're here with the Max Boost Civic. Yeah, project. Project car. I did a boo boo <laughs> this weekend, and Brian's here to save save the day. We're trying to see what's up with it. Uh, got a little rod knock going on. Sorry about all the extra noise, but we're uh, actually uh, in a working shop during business hours. So uh, right now we're going to uh, check out the damage. See what yes. it looks like. Well, I'm the artist and the creator of Max Boost. If you've never heard about it before, Max Boost is uh, the comic book that was in a magazine that I helped create called Importuner Magazine. You've probably heard of that. Um, and so I created Importuner Magazine back in 1998 along with the comic. And in the comic, in Max Boost, the star of the show is a 96 Midori Green Honda Civic hatchback. What was funny is throughout all those years that I did the comic book, um, I never owned a Midori Green Civic hatch. So what was cool was uh, I've been gone for 13 years, 14 years. I stopped doing Max Boost a while back. Fans asked me to come back. I, I, I've come back and we're bringing Max Boost back, uh, selling the comic book again. Um, and during the live stream, our fans asked me if I ever owned a Midori and I said no. And so what ended up happening was they said, that's not right. The guy who made one, the guy who made Midori's famous uh, should have should own a Midori. And at the end of the day, they ended up raising the money in the live stream to buy a Midori Civic for me as a gift, which I thought was awesome. Look at the best fans ever, and this is the car. And so um, we took the car from it, the the owner when he sold it. He said it was an eight out of ten. This is our joke. It was definitely not an eight out of ten. It was more like a three out of ten. And we have been taking this project and just turning the car basically inside out, buying more Midoris. I've literally bought, we really acquired four other, four total Midoris to help create this one Midori right here. Uh, fans have been sending parts for the car. People have been gifting. The, the hood, the carbon fiber hood from Saibon is actually a gift from our fans for my birthday. Uh, and it's really a, 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 a community build. Um, and so, the goal for the car was to is to take it and turn it into the car that's in the comic book. So we're still in the middle of the project. It's not done yet, but it's going to have uh, eventually a turbocharged motor. We're, we're, we're working with Hossport and Brian wants to put an L15 V7 in it, which would be amazing. Um, and then uh, we're going to have the whole Buddy Club kit like in the comic book. Uh, wheels, we got all the interior pretty much uh, almost there. Uh, Sparco's been uh, hooked us up with a lot of the safety. And then um, we're gonna do all the good, the go fast bits with uh, uh, all the uh, spherical bushings, uh, we'll get the shocks and springs, all of that. So right now it's just at a street build. But we're tracking it and we're actually wheel to wheeling it. And we've been having a lot of fun. We actually even took this car with a stock V16 motor in it. Um, and we won the time trial, two time trials ago. Uh, for our uh, for NASA TT6 class, and uh, we're a top 10 car in uh, N2 for VTech Club, a top top three single cam uh, in that class as well. So we're having fun just driving the wheels off of it. And the other thing about this car is uh, it's a great example of you don't have to have a wild build to have a lot of fun or go decently quick. Um, the way that th this car is essentially the only fast things on this car are uh, two things. Uh, well, actually one thing, but all it has is coilovers that are street coilovers, non-adjustable, they're cheap, like I think $400, um, and uh, those are donated to us by Auto Fashion, pulled from another car. And then, of course, other than the Hotsport mounts, right, um, the Falcon tires. The 660 Falcon tires are amazingly fast, and that's the only reason why we get this thing around. And then on top of that, I blew the motor two days ago, and Brian's like, let me swap it. <laughs> so now we got another motor. It's Brian's fault. Now we're actually swapping the entire thing. I was going to let it sit in the garage for a while. But Brian's like, nah, that's not happening. Let's go. And so, appreciate you guys. Hotsport, VTech Academy. Awesome. Thank you guys for being here. And uh, if you want to check out what Max Boost is about and where the Civic is from, just check us out at maxboost.com or at uh, Max Boost Comic on Instagram. And thanks to VTech Academy. Thanks to Hotsport for uh, coming out all the way to San Diego. 
This dude came all the way to San Diego to come work. This dude worked here car. in San Diego. I wanted him to come do this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got the oil pan off. Uh, we are going to look real quick and see if we can see any signs of a uh, rod bearing problem. Well, I'm actually somewhat hopeful. There's not a bunch of shiny stuff in the oil. What? So uh, the damage may not be that bad. We're gonna take a look real quick at the, we found, found our problem right here. You should be able to see that. that. That rod's moving like there's no metal in there. There's no bearing anymore. So uh, clearly that's the one that's damaged. We're gonna take the uh, girdle off and then uh, Take that apart and see what the damage is. See if we've got a bad crank too. Yep. Right there. Seized it. Seized yeah. It. Yeah. So the bearing is still on here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That crank is done. Yeah. There we go. All right. So now we know. And there's that. Okay, you can feel all the scoring on it. Yeah. So there's this. Okay, I'm so surprised it basically you're... grabbed to the crank and spun in the rod. Right. And it is actually like the crank's actually still good. So you spun. Well, I can kind of feel. Yeah, I guess a pile a little taller. It's nothing crazy. You think you can find? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Find? Like this actually grabbed to the crank and spun in in the rod. Right, right, right. Yeah. So it messed up more of the rod than it did the crank. Yes. Oh yeah. So you've got a buildable block. Yeah. You've got a buildable block. Okay. I mean, obviously the the quick solution to get it back on the road is just drop that other end in it. <laughs> But uh, Brian's confident, so I should probably not worry at all. But uh, yeah, we just got to pull this motor out that I uh, basically destroyed at the track this weekend, and then we're just putting the same motor in. I know, I know it's not a swap from you know one motor to a better motor, but hey, you know sometimes you got to swap the same motor in when you make a mistake like I did. <laughs> Blew up a motor. Hey Brian. Hey what? You ever de-swapped a car? Never de-swapped a car. Yeah, I guess I have actually. Uh, back in 98, we were at the racetrack, and my brother blew up his 91 CRX with a D16. He called around, there's a Salvador called All Models, they had only about 60,000 miles on it. So he went and picked it up, and we swapped the motor between about 2.30 and 6 o'clock that evening and then he raced it the next day and won his class. In fact, we still have that motor. Uh, it was in the 91 CRX. Probably only had another five, 6,000 miles on it racing. Uh, but now that car, CRX, has a uh, V18C in it. And it's actually over Oscar Jackson's, I think. I might visit it next month. How does it feel to be knowing that you're going to be putting a DC back into this? Seems like a step backwards, but hey. No, I, I actually... This feels wrong. It, you know, oh, you sit there and you think about what we do at Hasport. But we also sell a lot of stock to place amounts. Probably two of our five most popular kits are stock to place amounts for EK and EG, which also covers, you know, V8 uh, Integras. Because sometimes you get a two bolt mount, sometimes three. But, uh, those are probably two of our five most popular kits. So it's not, you know, horribly disheartening. It's just kind of weird.
Whee. Legend. OG. Look at that. <laughs> it's beautiful. Thank you guys over at Hotsport for cooking it up. I really appreciate you guys. This is the real reason I came here. Change the mounts. Turns out though it needed more than mounts. <laughs> It's not, you know, horribly disheartening, it's just kind of weird.